Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Had a member request on how to do, you know how those best friend charms are? So I'm going to show you how to do the split heart. Almost looks like a broken heart, but not quite. Let me leave that down there for now. So let's take the knife. Okay, I'm going to hold the shift key as I drag it down because that will keep that cut straight. Okay, make sure the color disappears. And let's try it this way. See, it's so hard to get it that way, but when you come up this way, it usually selects it. Nope. This is one thing that has given me issues with this version. Yeah, it's just not... And then we have it way out here. It just doesn't act like it's supposed to. And it doesn't want to select. Down here, it doesn't want to select. See how the bounding box sits way too far out? Hmm. Okay, it finally decided to start playing, so... I guess just give it some time and it'll start working for you, but the bounding box should still not be clear out here. Okay. There. So now it came back in. So I'm going to have to send Craft Edge an email and let them know that it's just acting really weird. But anyways, let's get back to the task at hand. So now I have that set. Let's bring the zoom back in pull it apart a little bit and I brought it in huge so that you guys could see what I'm doing here I'm gonna just knock that little edge off of there don't worry about if it's exactly perfect okay if you have a little piece sticking up like I just did don't worry about it because you're gonna be putting little lines in here so I just came to the library and picked one of the lines doesn't matter what one you pick okay and then just grow that line a little bit. Just make it however you want. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to attach it. Or attach it kind of, sort of. Get it close. Duplicate. Let's do that. Okay, we'll do five of them. Okay, so this one. Let's do a mirror. And I'm just using my, oops, just using my keyboard keys to move it up, get it kind of close. Again, my keyboard keys, the arrows. This, I'm going to mirror it, come back over, tap on it, and my keyboard keys. Tap on it, and my keyboard keys. Okay, let's tap off it. Uh, bring that down a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You can zoom in if you want it to be perfect. I don't because I'm actually going to get rid of this whole entire outline. So I'm not really worried about what it looks like. Now I'm going to turn it. Turn it. I'm going to turn it and grow it. Okay, turn it right there we go. Okay, so that looks close enough for me. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight this and we're going to come up here and we're going to duplicate it, hopefully, here. We're going to duplicate. There we go. And we're just going to click and we're going to drag it right on over here turn and I'm just going to use my keyboard keys to and just try to get it to where it fits kind of close yeah that's about right maybe just a tick and remember I'm actually going to get rid of this why would you say because 
I don't like any little notches, anything like that. I want it to look really good. Okay, so come up here, path, union, path, union, that one, and they all change to the same color, so that's good. Path, union, that one, all change to the same color there, that's good. So with this one still highlighted, I'm going to come up to Effects, Shadow Layer, Blackout Shadow. Okay. All right. With that still highlighted, come there and remove that one. Let me just tip grab it. Okay. Effects, Shadow Layer, Blackout Shadow. Okay. Delete that one, and then we're going to put these together, and there you go. So there's your heart. If you have little jagged pieces here on the edge, you can go to Path and do your Simplify, okay? And that will help simplify them away, okay? Or you could do your Node, your Node Edit, if you want to get rid of them, okay? However you choose. I like my nodes come in here I can edit them out you can take your marker tool you can do whatever you want let's get rid of this one that was floating there so you basically only want one node at the end and you see I've just knocked all of them off okay let's get rid of that one and this one this is just To make it pretty. There we go. The end, the same thing, but you see there's a little notch there that fits into there, so I'm perfectly happy with this. Okay, guys, if you have any questions on how to do this, you can find me over at my channel or over at my uh, Facebook group. Uh, you can find the link on the actual Facebook button that's on the banner uh, of this channel, or uh, it's also in the description of this video. Um, because I do make videos upon request to help you with your own personal issues that you may have utilizing shortcuts a lot or your scan and cut. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.